Well, today I'm doing uh, a type of video that I always enjoy watching, and it's my top five fountain pens. And actually, the reason why I sort of got into um, making videos was because a friend asked me, what are your top five fountain pens? And I had a really hard time coming up with the, uh, the, um, the list. And so this is actually going to be um, uh, modern pens. I, I would have to do a, a list separately of vintage pens, um, because you really can't compare the two, in my opinion. But to begin with is the first one here. It's a Pilot Capless. It's uh, an interesting pen. It's been around for many, many years in design. Um, and what it is, it works almost like a ballpoint pen in that it's retractable. You press the um, button at the end and the nib comes out. It's an interesting looking pen. Some people find it ugly. I find it quite attractive, actually. <laughs> I've always been sort of drawn to things that, you know, uh, have a unique design. And this really does have a beautiful uh, build quality to it. It's uh, it's. Uh, you know, all really lovely writer. It um, it holds well in the hand. It, it some people might complain about the placement of the clip, but uh, I don't mind it at all. And once you get used to it, it uh, it it actually kind of becomes something where you can hold on to. It's you don't notice it after a while. And this order. Uh, this list is not in any particular order, but I will end up, I will finish up with my favorite pen or, and I'll explain why it is my favorite pen when I get to that. So a few little things about the pen. It, uh, the clip is pla placed down here at the, what might be considered an awkward position, but it's close to the nib. And the idea being when you put it in your pocket or something, the nib is pointing upwards so it won't leak into your pocket or onto a, uh, you know, out of a bag in that way, if it's, if it's holding up, if you're holding it upwards. Um, mine is uh, a burgundy color with gold trim. And I am one of those people that likes to uh, match my pens. And what I have in it is diamine uh, ancient copper. And that's, uh, you know, a, quite a nice combination in my opinion for that pen. Next pen I have um, to show you is one that I almost always think of as one of my favorite pens of all time, but I'm just going to put it on here and show it to you second. Um, and I truly love this pen. It's uh, not to everyone's taste, but it's a classic of design. It's um, Bajas and inspiration. Uh, and that is, of course, the Lamy 2000. It's made with a material called macrolon, which is a type of fiberglass. It has a, you know, classic stainless steel clip here. It's piston filler. There's a knob here and you cannot actually, you, you literally can't see uh, where the pen knob join, uh, joins, where the, where the piston knob joins the body. It's machining on this pen is quite amazing, really. Um, you know, it's a pull cap and it has what might be considered a semi hooded nib, uh, 14 karat gold. Uh, it's plated with, uh, I think rhodium just to, uh, fit in with the trim. There are little buttons right here, uh, that are little silver buttons right there on the side. And that is your, uh, that's the clutch for the cap. The cap will go over those and, um, and, uh, the pen cap will stay on nice and nice and firm and never slips off. There is an ink window in the pen. Mine is full at the moment, but you can just about make it out there. And I love how this pen feels when you write with it. There's just a little bit of feedback. It's not scratchy in any way, but you know, you're writing with the, when you're using this pen, you can it almost like a little tremor in the in the pen when you work, but it's very smooth, right? So, um, 
and once again the ink I've put in it uh, sort of matches the pen but but it's one of my favorite inks and that's the uh, diamine uh, Oxford blue it's uh, a, a, a really attractive blue black and uh, it suits this pen very well uh, that's that one the next pen I will show you if how would I describe this pen if I had to choose one pen and you know say which pen would you keep oh, if you had to get rid of all your pens it would probably be this one even though it's not number one on my list of favorite pens and that is the pilot e95s uh, this is very reminiscent of classic pilot elite pens from the 60s uh, if you look at uh, Japanese fountain pen design from this, the 1960s you'll see a lot of variations on this design you know, sailor platinum and pilot had many different variations on this pen but this is a, a a modern pen and it throws back to a classical design and it has this uh, slip cap but it has this just a nice feel you have to when you open it up there's this resistance but it's smooth and it almost pops off and then it posts like that and there's a, a ring here that will the cap will press against so it is designed to be posted up it, um, it has a long long section <clears throat> and you can hold it anywhere and it's exceptionally comfortable in the hand it has beautiful length when you post the pen and it writes like well it's just one of the finest writers i have and it has an incredible beautiful nib on it it's really hard to uh it's one of those pens when you look at the nib you, you just find yourself you know turning it in your hand and looking at the shape of it and all the angles that it has it's it's just a lovely nib and it and as with most pilot, pilot nibs it, it it writes so nice it's just a, a smooth nib with a hint of feedback uh, and it always starts up it's never never causes me any problems i can leave it for a few days or a week or two and pick it up and it will always start and once again uh because of the burgundy body uh, and the gold trim i've chosen for this pen uh, uh, another diamine ink and this one is uh blood orange very similar to ancient copper in some way you know in some ways but slightly different and uh that's a yeah if i had to choose of all my pens i would keep this one of all of them even though it might not necessarily be my favorite i mean that makes no sense but you'll understand when i get to it the next pen in my top five list is a real workhorse of a pen and it's a pen that a brand that i have several examples of and that is the Twisby Vac Mini. And this pen is I just like the look of this pen. It's 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 I like small pens. I like small pens that can be posted and that uh become full size pens. It has a nice weight to it. It's not a light, it's not overly light. Um it holds an amazing amount of ink in the barrel. It's a piston filler, so you uh there's a cap at the end and you unscrew it and you pull back and there's a piston and then you push through and the ink will come into the pen uh, in some cases it's a little like all twisby pens it's a tinkering pen it takes you a little while to get used to the, the to how it works there's a few little tricks to make it work properly so that it writes consistently uh it's a screw cap and it has a stainless steel um extra fine nib on it um yoo nib which is a, a german brand that supplies nibs to many manufacturers but uh and each uh, company they provide nibs for will design and tune their nibs specifically with imprints and uh tuning to suit their their pen um 
plastic feet, of course. Uh, it uh, has a piston at the end. Now, what happens is when you screw this shut, the piston will go down and seal off. So that is, you prevents leaking if, if you're traveling and um, uh, and uh, mishaps like that. But for long writing sessions, you unscrew it just a little bit like this. And what happens is you unscrew it, the piston will move away from the, the uh, section down here and allow uh, consistent inflow. You don't want to pull it open, of course, but you just turn it back until it's loose and then it will uh, allow ink flow and you can have very long, long writing sessions. It's very comfortable to, to write with. And, um, you know, it's one of those pens that um, I would describe as a workhorse pen. It's attractive, but you can carry it around. Uh, you know exactly how much ink you have in the pen at all times. It's, uh, and it writes exceptionally well, right? So the Twisby Vac Mini. That's another, yeah. I have, I think I have five Twisby pens and this is one of the ones that I go to on a daily basis. Now, oddly enough, the next, probably the top pen <laughs> in my uh, top five list, and it's going to be a little contradictory because it's, you know, when I think of this pen, it doesn't necessarily jump out at me as the pen I would keep if I had to only choose one, of course. Um, as you know, the um, it's the pen that you, I always use. I find myself using this pen for drawing and writing, and I do a lot of tasks with it, making lists and writing out receipts, and uh, and, you know, and I'm just always using it. And, and that is <laughs> the Twisby Echo Cement Gray. Now, why is this my fi favorite pen? Well, as I say, I use it constantly. I have it inked up with a, a very interesting ink, and that is the uh, Platinum Carbon Black. And as an artist who uses uh, mixed media watercolors, Carbon Black is a color I can uh, an ink that I can use and know that it's not going to be affected by water. So if I'm sketching or something like that, and I wanted to do a wash, I could uh, let it dry and, and go over it with the wash of paint, and it won't bleed and won't and uh, won't uh, fade. It's very stable ink, and I keep it in the cement gray because it suits the the pen. And you know, if I'm writing uh, receipts for a client, I'm also a picture framer and an artist, of course. This is what I use all the time. And if I'm signing up painting on the back, I will use this because it's stable. I would, um, a lot of people ask what are best inks to use in a fountain pen if you're an artist. And I say, don't ever use India ink because it will ruin your pen. But c platinum carbon black is the color I would use. And Twisby, uh, the Twisby Echo, it has a fine nib on it. It's a piston filler. You turn the knob and a piston moves up and down. And once again, with all Twisbys, they're, they're workhorse pens. They hold an amazing amount of ink. And I would have to pick this as my favorite pen because I use it so often. Not necessarily the most beautiful pen I own. Not necessarily the most satisfying writing experience in, in many ways, even though it is a very smooth writer. It is the pen I use constantly. So it would have to be my favorite pen, if that makes any sense. I know I'm being slightly silly with that, but that's true. It's, so the other thing about the Twisby Echo, it's a type of pen I can carry around in me, my, in my pocket or with, in a bag or something like that, and I don't worry about it. The other pens I tend to worry about if I'm taking them somewhere. I wouldn't want to lose my... Lamy 2000. I'd be very upset if I lost my Pilot Capless. Uh, I'd be very, very upset if I lost my Pilot E95S. And to some extent, the Vac Mini, I'd still be upset if I lost that. But this pen, even though, you know, it's not necessarily 
cheap. It's it's very reasonable price for what it is. Um, if I lost it, I could easily replace it with one exactly the same. And for that reason, I would say that's one of the reasons I would consider it my 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 favorite pen. You know, and it's a great starter pen too. If you're getting into the hobby, you know. Um, there are several different pens that you could start off with as an introduction, but um, the Echo would all, would probably be one of the pens that I highly recommend if somebody is just thinking about buying a fountain pen and trying them out. Uh, they're a tinkerer pen. You can take these pens apart, clean them. They come with uh, tools that help you do that, and they have uh, instructions to show you how to disassemble the pen and clean it. Um, and it's great to see your ink sloshing around in the barrel. It's it's fun in that aspect, and it's it's a nice weight and it fits the hand beautifully. Anyway, I hope you kind of enjoyed this <laughs> this sort of rambling video of mine. I tend to stumble along, but they're a lot of fun to do the videos, and I hope uh, you liked it. And if you do, I'd appreciate you giving me a thumbs up, and I'd really appreciate it if you did like the video, if you would kindly subscribe to the channel. That uh, all these things help out and. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.